With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Ready for football now on a sunny Florida afternoon. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. For most people, the excitement of a kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder in the ball carrier, and down he goes. And run there for about six up across the 20 to the 22. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. Williams going to get it again on second down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. To throw is Moreno. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. So still a scoreless game in the first, but they're going to go for this thing on their own side of the field on fourth down. He's got this complete to Ridley. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off for the first down. We always talk about big-time players make big-time plays in big-time moments. I think that fourth down qualified. That was a heck of a throw. Up the middle, it's Williams. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. They'll stay on the ground with Williams. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Just a loss of a yard there, but it's not going to help. Now they face a third and 14. And our statistician, Ben Ramsar, just held up three fingers to remind me he now has three tackles for a loss rolling in the first quarter. Well, Ben's got it detailed perfectly. He always gives us the right stats. I'd love to be on the offense's headset right now because what you're hearing is... Can someone please block him? Come up with a scheme. Come up with something. Make sure you block him because he's disrupting everything. Oh, a big decision here early. Look at this. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. Oh, looked like they got someone to jump there. And if that's the case, this will be a first down. He's a little too aggressive there from his Mike linebacker spot. Sometimes you jump into gaps trying to draw them off sides. This time he tricked himself. A lack of discipline defensively on fourth down, and now that leads to a first and ten. Following the penalty, it's Williams. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. What an advantage having a lead guy to build a defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. On second down, here's Marino. This one caught by Ridley. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 38-yard line. Now Williams. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. 
Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. No score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter from Miami. It's the Dolphins with the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Well, looks like they'll move things around here. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Williams. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Complete. Smith has it. And the Dolphins are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, let's be honest about the whole thing. When you're looking for a reliable set of hands on third down, the first thought is often not fullback. But that's who they turn to there. And he does a nice job of securing the football and picking up the first down. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. Now Marino. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Down near the goal line, things really get physical. You're always anticipating a running play, but when they do throw it, things happen quickly. A little bit of a bang-bang play there that falls incomplete. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And that is incomplete. Well, so a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while, but when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. So an opening drive field goal maybe doesn't whip this crowd into a frenzy, but I think that they will take the early lead. There's no doubt about it. They will always take the early lead, and maybe that celebration comes later if they play well and they can break things open. But right now, this is all about letting the offense just get settled in. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go. And sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Second quarter, two minutes remain. Three-nothing our score. They had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Jackson. He'll check this down to Lynch. Complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. And that penalty accepted, and they move the ball forward. Jackson on first down. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. It's always tough trying to keep your guy upright when he's trying to throw the football. When you're dealing with those big bad guys on the defensive front, it's even tougher. And this time, those guys on the opposite side won the battle, getting to the quarterback and knocking him into an incompletion. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. First down, the run with Lynch. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The Raiders trying to move quickly, trying to get everybody back to the line. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. 
Open man, the tight end, Luke Schoonmaker. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 26. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sat back at the 38. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. On second down, Jackson. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. And when you're throwing the ball downfield really well like they have been on this drive, it's really a nice time to work one of the screen plays in. One of my favorite play callers in the game has always told me he starts every game with 10 to 12 screens because if he starts feeling the pressure from the defense, he uses their aggressiveness against them. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. On now is the field goal team. Here's the Raiders. We'll try for three. From the left hash, this will be a 41-yarder. And the now 40-year-old veteran able to put this one through. And that will tie us at 3-3. So matching field goals on our opening two drives. Yeah, it feels like two boxers feeling each other out here in the early going of the game, right? Exchanging some jabs, but none of the heavy stuff just yet. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. And opening there on that first down run as he gets this forward for about eight or nine. That looks to be eight officially, so second and two. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Second half ready to roll. Two field goals, a combined output in half number one. Could be first touchdown wins. The fair catch taken short of the goal line, and they'll begin this third quarter at their own 25. First and ten is Jackson. Blitz coming and down he goes. And quickly they get to the line. On second down, Lynch. And he'll get this past the 20 as he gets about four. The opening of the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. Here's Johnny Hacker now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And he fields it cleanly. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And they will take over first and 10. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Williams going to get it again on second down, and he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. 
From midfield now, Marino. And to find the open man, that's complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trade in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Now a handoff. Here's Williams. And he'll snag about five yards down in the 32. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Williams going to get it again on second down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. Now it's Marino. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Raiders are going to have it here just past the 25. So they'll accept that penalty, and that'll, of course, move the football up the field. Now a man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Williams. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find the ball. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Dolphins have a first down. On the ground, this is Williams. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Three quarters in the books. From the seven, it's second and five. They run it again with Williams. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going... And this is going to be intercepted. Returning it, Johnson. And the Raiders will take over here just shy of the 30. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And the question, can they turn that interception into points? A tie game for the moment in the fourth quarter. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. I feel like I can see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Jackson on second down. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Now it's Jackson. That's complete. He's got Lynch out of the backfield. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
I like what I'm seeing from them here. A tie game in the fourth quarter. They understand the situation. They don't need to be in any rush. Go ahead and huddle up and run your offense. That last completion put them in a nice position to take the lead in this game. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. An inside run with Lynch. He'll get this up to the 47 and brought down there. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Jackson. Throw is caught by Schoonmaker. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. Jackson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Again to the big tight end, George Kittle. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. They come up now on second and two. Up the middle, it's Ledge. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Now this crowd doing their best to make a lot of racket. It's third and five. Now Jackson. And he's brought down short by a yard. It's a third down gain of four. First things first here, they got to pick up the first down. And remember, it is fourth down, so they've got to pick up a completion here. Otherwise, this one's over. Now they get the timeout. It leads you to wonder, will they kick it here or risk running another play and possibly not getting down in time? We'll see. And the 10-year back knocks it through the goalpost. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. And I tell you, when it comes to needing a field goal in closing seconds, pressure situation, there's something to be said for having a veteran kicker trot out there. Agreed. It's so nice to have someone you can rely on, someone who you know has done it before. And this guy's as cool as they come, isn't he? On is the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. And he's going to be out of bounds here right at the 20-yard line. Here's first and ten. One last shot for Marino. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner. Although on that last play, they were so backed up, it would have taken a miracle, and they couldn't get that miracle done.
Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back end. They might have gone all the way to the end zone. In this case, though, it didn't happen. Perhaps next time. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. This has been Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Join the discussion on Twitter at EA Sports underscore M-U-T. And with that, we sign off from Miami.